Hey guys, what's up? Let's look into Project 404 4.3 build running on Xiaomi Poco F1. If you want to know the full installation, link is in the description. To begin with, let's quickly navigate into settings and about phone. The ROM is based upon Android 11. The kernel they are using is Stealth 2.0. When comes to security, the ROM does support IR face unlock fingerprint as well. The fingerprint works very fast and responsive. The face unlock also much faster enough. I haven't faced any issues with these options. Out of the box, the ROM is Google Play Protect certified. Also, it does pass us all safety net checks. So you won't be facing any issues with banking applications. In settings, the search option does gives the feel of Android 12 by making profile pic sidewise. Under battery section, there are thermal switching which is very important feature for gamers. You can select your own gaming thermals from this option. When it comes to system, the ROM does support OTA security update from Google. Let's talk about drop down menu now. Drop down menu has many tiles including screen recorder and sim switching. There are other tiles as well. Screen recorder, it does allow you to record internal audio and microphone. After enabling this feature, I haven't faced any jitters or lags. Once you record, you can share it via social or any third party tools. So now let's talk about app opening and RAM management. I'll be opening few applications and games as well. Let's start with Play Store. Google Files, Flipkart, Google Search, Tap Tap Store, Chrome. Explorer, Able Music Player, Gallery, Dialer, Message, and GMAP. Now let's open some games. Let's start with Call of Duty. and shadow fight and Temple Run. Minimize and finally PUBG.
minimize. Now let's reopen our application and check how many are there in RAM. So yeah, few applications did reloaded and few were there in RAM. Also, COD and Shadow Fight did reloaded, but Tumble Trend and PUBG was there in RAM. So RAM management of this ROM is not that much bad, but can improve more. Also, app opening time was good and responsive. I haven't noticed any jitters while testing. Right from the home, you can get Google Feeds, which works pretty great. When it comes to reason menu, it does support taking screenshot. Also, editing option present. It does has the clear art option as well. When it comes to benchmark, the Geekbench scores single core 3 to 6 and multi-core 1081 without setting up any thermals but after setting up thermals single core 411 and multi-core 1983 which is not that much bad scores so without wasting any time let's quickly get into gaming test i'll be enabling screen recorder and fps info as well so you guys can understand how this rom perform in terms of gaming. Team match, let's go. The blue team has scored for the first time. Nice shot.
the lead. Dead! Clear! Reloading! Spree for the red team. Killing spree for the red team. So, I did choose Gaming Thermal for PUBG before opening, but the outcome was not that much great. I was getting frame drop till 30 FPS in TDM, which is not, which is not at all good for gamers. So I'll be stopping gaming test here. There is no meaning in testing out hot drop with this room. So, let me know in the comment what is your opinion about this room. That's all for today. We'll see you with next one. Bye bye and take care.